Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to replace null values in SSRS report. So first of all, we will understand if we have the null values in the data, how they will be displayed in the report. Once we figure that out, then we will need to convert the integer type null to the zero and for string, we will be converting that to the NA. We will be using is nothing function and IIF function in SSRS. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have this data that's coming from a total sale table and uh, this is in a sales uh, database. Uh, if I execute this uh, query, so what I see here, uh, there are some records, uh, one of them actually, that has some null values. Uh, so item sold and item price, those are integer type uh, columns uh, and there is a null value. Also for the string, uh, we have uh, all those uh, state, city and country, those are null. The best way I recommend uh, you use uh, is null function or coalesce uh, right here and convert to the required uh, format. Uh, so if we want to convert this one to the zero, why not to use it uh, here is null or uh, coalesce and convert to the zero. And here we can convert to the NA. So we don't have to do the same thing in the SSRS. Uh, but uh, as we are going to learn some functions, uh, uh, it's a good idea. Maybe uh, use this example and uh, learn those functions. Uh, now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and the SSRS project is open. You need a shared data source or otherwise you have to create an embedded data source in your report. I have shared data source that's pointing to the sales database. If you are creating more than one report from same database, create a shared data source. It will be a good idea. Now go to reports, add and a new item. Click on report and here we will, you have to provide the name so we call it null value report add the next part will be pointing to the shared data source or using the embedded data source so here add data source and then give some name so we call it ds sales and i want to use shared data source reference so i have to select the shared data source here hit okay next uh, we'll be clicking on a, a data set uh, data set is a result set uh, or a rows returned by your query so that's called the set uh, we are going to call this one total sale and uh, this is going to be embedded for that report uh, so provide your query here now once uh, this is done uh, hit okay right click here and insert and bring a table once we have the table we have to bring the fields uh, so we can display for our report and in my case, I want to bring only four of them here, item sold. And last one, I want to bring a region. Now we are good here. Let's just drag this on the left side. And uh, next part, uh, click here, bold, and provide some background color to the header column. Now our report is ready. And as you guys can see that uh, the null values uh, that's coming from the uh, SQL server table, they're converted to the blank here. So what we want to do, we want to convert that uh, for integer, we want to put zero here and for the string, we want to put uh, a NA may or maybe unknown, whatever we like. Uh, so now go back to the design uh, and uh, click here. So once you right click here in the cell, uh, you will be going to the expressions uh, and you see that uh, the value is coming uh, from this field. So we can write uh, one thing here. We can write. Uh, if uh, function would is nothing function so if is the uh, like uh, okay if my value or expression is true give me this value otherwise uh, give me the other uh, uh, n n n false value so it is like a if else statement so first part is uh, if expressions are true you are going to get uh, the first value otherwise you will uh, display the second so in our case we are going to say i i if uh, okay and then we are saying is uh, nothing we use this function and we said that okay if uh, this is uh, is nothing then what we want to do if this expression is a uh, true so what we do we want to display zero otherwise uh, we want to display the same field what we have uh, here so copy this one and paste it here and that's it now if uh, function is going to check the first expressions uh, and if that is correct uh, then uh, it is uh, going to display that part uh, otherwise uh, it will display this uh, so that's all the problem now hit ok let's preview our report uh, and as we can see that we have converted uh, the null value to the zero in ssrs report uh, now we are going to do the same thing for the 
uh, string value so let's go to the design again click here and then right click expressions uh, and we are going to say i i f uh, okay and then we say is nothing uh, parentheses so close the parentheses and we say if uh, is it is true expression what we want to display so in our case if it is null what we want to do we want to say na otherwise uh, if it is not uh, empty or null uh, what we want to do we want to just uh, display the actual value so that's uh, all we are doing here click ok now preview and as you can see that uh, NA is uh, displayed if I don't like the NA maybe we can right click here and uh, go ahead and change this one to the unknown so your choice uh, whatever you like uh, and that's how you will be converting uh, your null values in SSRS report to the required values so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video